So this is one uh, uh, definition that I saw repeated in different forms, an unanticipated or unforeseen event resulting in adverse consequences, very close to, to what you were saying. Um, and, and so you start thinking about this. I, I, I like the way you say, you know, who knows, maybe after this class we realize, no, we know they can happen, uh, but an unanticipated or unforeseen event. So I'm thinking about the BP oil spill, for instance. Unanticipated, unforeseen, they were multi-million dollar blowout preventers in the BP oil spill. So they, they were anticipated that something can happen. They were, it was foreseen. Um, risk analysis. That's what we're talking about. That's uh, risk analysis. And since you're onto it, what uh, are the elements of risk analysis? Exposure. Hazard and exposure. All right, so and that is going to give us the likelihood of an adverse consequence taking place, right? That is going to, um, that is going to tell us the probability of an adverse consequence taking place. Hazard is a design flaw. So, now when I say that, many of my chemist friends blanch um, because nobody wants to ever admit that we make design flaws. But the, I'm not saying that it's an easy design flaw to overcome because in, there are times when the same properties that give you your performance, your function, also give you your hazard. Uh, there are times when that happens. Uh, so when you think a, um, a stove, a stove gets hot, it's what allows it to cook my food, right? And, and so the same things that allows me to cook my food on the stove is what burns my hand if I touch it, right? Causes an accident. Um, if I want to, you know, saw a piece of wood, the same s sharpness of the saw, that allows me to cut the wood, it's going to cut my hand if I, if I do that, right? So, so the same property, right? So if I were to say, well, a stove is a, is a design, uh, that's a design flaw, would, would you tell me another way to cook food where I couldn't burn my hand? <laughs> okay, um, uh, so there are, and for the saw, I mean, there, there are now laser cutters that do not function um, with, the, uh, with the cover open. And so thinking about, uh, so the laser will not go on, is unable to actually generate a beam unless it is enclosed. So there are ways to think about this, to approach that. So um, when we start talking about, well, we have to, prepare for accidents because we know that they are going to happen and they are inevitable because the substances we use are just, you know, that's the nature of the substances. Stop, pause, think. The greatest preparation is always going to be in the design phase. 